Welcome everyone to the first Ann Arbor District Library Dungeon Jam, a Grizzly edition. We wanted to show a few more examples of what you can submit for our zine that's coming out soon. Rich, do you want to show us what you put together? Sure. And Christopher, I'm I'm so excited to be part of this with you. Uh, all the stuff that uh, you and with the Taste of RPG team has been doing and everything. Very, very happy to, well, to, to be part well, of thanks. it. Thanks. Uh, a little nervous. Some, some light nerves developing <laughs> uh, my very first dungeon. And uh, so I'm going to show a lot of my work so that we'll, we'll see here. So um, tried to make it as sort of system agnostic as possible, um, but sticking with the bear theme. And when you'd mentioned that the bear theme was sort of the, the, the crux, it made me think of, I don't know if you've ever run the, the game um, Honey Heist. Mm. Have you played it before? I haven't. I know it's very, very popular. Yeah. So, I mean, the premise of, of Honey Heist is you are bears and you are trying to steal. Um, the, the scenario it sets up at first is uh, it's Honeycon and you're trying to steal some sort of bear related thing. And so we ran it with... Uh, kids ranging from teenagers to a five-year-old um, where you're bears and you have two stats, you have bear and criminal. And then whenever you're doing something like a bear that goes a little beyond, you roll the die. And if you get uh, over your bear stat, then you become more bear or you become more criminal. And you want to keep it in the middle so that you don't go all criminal. And then you leave your bears and you go into a life of crime or full bear and then you you just freak out and you become full bear and you can't do anything but bear things. So this is, and, and we'll have a little thing here and it's a little bit stained from play, but so there's there are some drawings part of the honey bear. This is the whole manual right here. There's a drawing there of a bear that actually like works out to be like the map that we used for the heist which was based off of Riverside Park and Ipsy. So Honeycon was taking place in Riverside Park and Ipsy. And so this again, this is my, my map. This is my dungeon that mm -hmm. I tried my best to keep, uh, again, something that could be used in a different way. But this is my little bear and the little backpack and it's uh, Honeyside Park. And so I'll have a little thing here. That's fantastic. Of little walkways and water and steps and turrets and whatnot. So bear themed uh, towards specific, I mean, hat tip to Honey, honey Heist. Um, but yeah, so that's my, that's my guy right there. Oh, that is wonderful. That's great. Well, I also put together a map. I have been wanting to uh, get into isometric maps more and more. There were some classic ones from the old days. I put together this. But oh, that's this awesome. Is, this is Lair of the Bear God. There's an entrance here, and I decided to make this kind of vaulted ceiling with a chimney and a little cave painting and <laughs> oh, some wood for burning. And then there are some pathways here. Oh, watch out for the Sturges. That's <laughs> classic, classic first edition d and Nice. <laughs> and then down here, and we've got, I wanted to take advantage of the isometric map and make a pool here with some steps. And we end up with our bear god down here. So isometric maps are really a lot of fun. Um, it was kind of weird to draw a cave with them because you kind of lose some of that cool perspective, but it was still it was still fun to put together. Oh, that's awesome. Looking at what I was gonna pattern some of it after, the, some of the isometric maps out there oh. are so impressive. Um, with columns and just, oh, it was so cool. And so 
I know, and all these great. kind of multi layers. Yeah, I, and I thought, hey, I want to give that a try myself. Oh, I love yours. That was great. <laughs> Thanks. Your chimney is remarkable. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we both look forward to seeing what people contribute. And if you want any more information, you can go to aadl.org slash Dungeon Jam. And there is more information up there and, and you can see the rest of the videos as well. So we look forward to uh, getting your submissions. Thanks a lot. Thank you.